Okay, hello, this is Dr. Jaynes, and today I'm going to talk about how to modify STL files in FreeCAD. This is FreeCAD here. Uh, like things you get off of Thingiverse or something like that. They're not in FreeCAD, FreeCAD format, so you have to convert them into FreeCAD format so you can modify them. And uh, here I have some uh, files that I have downloaded from Thingiverse. Uh, and I wanted to modify them to make them a little bit bigger to uh, fit into, uh, so I can fit uh, lithium battery holders inside of them. Put, put a standard, uh, or may, maybe not super standard, but a, a, a holder that you can plug and unplug uh, the, uh, what is it, the 18650 battery, lithium batteries, into uh, more easily. And uh, the case is not quite big enough. So here we go. We have uh, at the top of it. I've already modified the bottom. And when you import these files, they are uh, just an STL shell, and so it's hard to work with them because you can't cut them or other things because it's just, it doesn't treat them as an object. So we have to uh, go to here part, and uh, then under the part menu, we have to uh, we have to go to. Uh, Oh, we got to select the part first. So we're going to select the shape. So this is our shape. We just selected it. And then we can go to Create Shape from Mesh. Okay. And when we do that, it creates an actual shape. So I'm going to delete the uh, the shell here, the, uh, the meshing. And here we have a solid 3D shape now. And uh, <coughs> what I would like to do is... Uh, just duplicate this. I'm going to make this bigger and I'm going to try to chop it maybe along this line right here. And so we'll go over here and we'll make a copy of that guy and paste it. And I'm going to slide this guy down. I'm going to make it about six centimeters longer, or six millimeters, I'm sorry. So we'll go to here. Oh, I'm moving it in the wrong direction. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's six millimeters. Okay, apply. Okay. And uh, so now we have two shapes that are kind of overlapping. And uh, now I want to chop these shapes up so that uh, it doesn't have this weirdness here. We want to get rid of part of the shape on the top part and part of the shape on the bottom. So I'm going to make a box here, a cube. And here's our cube, and we're going to make this cube bigger. We'll make it, I don't know, maybe 100 by 100 by uh, maybe 50. Okay, let's take a look at this shape. And it's, we're just going to use it to chop this uh, part in half. We're going to make two boxes. And uh, so let's let's move this shape into position where we want it. Oops, we will move it so it's going to chop the shape in half completely. Okay, we want it to overlap the whole shape because uh, we're going to. Um, Go up here, and we're going to do intersection. Okay, well, let's let's do the apply first. We're going to make sure that our ch our uh, movements are applied. Okay, and uh, we're going to select the shape that we want to chop, which is we want to chop the the lower shape here out of, of out of the first section because we want to make the part longer, and we're going to intersect that with the cube, and so here we'll do intersection. see which part did it chop. Anyway, you can see that it chopped out part part of the shape because there's only one one shape here and there's two two uh, edges up here. And so um, <coughs> okay so anyway 
we chopped one of the shapes in half and maybe I didn't chop the right one. I might have to go back and redo it. So here is the uh, the intersection of the shape and we can move this shape around and see that it's been chopped in half and it's a new object and we can uh, use this process to um, chop the part twice. It looks like I chopped the wrong part possibly and then we can make the whole part longer and uh, yeah, I did chop the wrong part, so I'll have to go back and undo and redo that. So, anyway, edit, undo, okay, apply, okay. So let's try, let's see, we wanted, we wanted to keep this shape, right, and this cube. Oops. So I'm holding the control key to select uh, this upper part and this lower part, and then we'll do the intersection again. And now, here, let's see, we've, we've kept the upper part, the part that we want. Let's try moving that so we can take a look at that. Okay. And so the upper part has been chopped where we want it. And... Uh, <coughs> So that's how you manipulate objects. And uh, if we want to, this part's not done yet, but you'd want to, uh, if you wanted to export it as an STL file again, let's say we want to export that, which we don't, we're going to modify it some more. You can go to F Files, Export, and uh, you can export it as an STL file, and then you can use that to print your new part in a, in a 3D printer. And anyway, you click save after you choose a file name. And uh, so here's a just intro on how you could modify uh, STL files that are you know in a different format than a FreeCAD, and bring them in the FreeCAD, modify them, and then create a STL file again that you can uh, export and uh, print out with your 3D printer. Anyway, this is uh, Dr. Jane's, and thanks for watching.